Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Beast! <laughs> Peekaboo, I see you because... <laughs> I'm... I'm YouTube famous now. Of course I am, I'm wearing my gray apology hoodie. I'm so sorry. I'm YouTube famous now. <clears throat> Available New Year's 2025. The album Dad. Shimmy, shimmy. Ab. Ba da 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 da. Ba da 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 da. Hey little thing, let me light your candle, cause I'm mama, I'm sure hard to handle now. Mess around. <laughs> Is it mess around or yes I am or yes ma'am or yes mom? I don't know what is it and I don't know what fan to use today. I don't know if I should use my I brought my shade fan because I'm talking about Miss Toddy Westbrook and so I thought well I don't know that I really think that <laughs> Toddy's trash. I don't. I don't. I don't really think that she is and so I thought well I don't want to do her that way. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to do her at all. But I don't want to do Miss Tati that way. Miss Hot, Hot, no, Tati, no, no, gargles, Ouija boards. I don't want to do Miss Hot Tati that way. So I brought my uh, shade fan. But then I was watching back her break in my silence video. And I just happened to, to grab my trash fan because <laughs> it seemed appropriate while I was watching that video because that video is filled with so much lies and deceits. I think it's interesting when these people reference their old videos and I'm like, do you go back and watch these videos that you reference? So today I've got a couple things to talk about. Now, while I was on vacation, I started getting sent by lots of people a clip from Miss Hot Chatty. Hey, Tati, quack and quack. And don't quack back. Um, I got sent this receipt that Miss Tati had done this video. Okay, so Miss Tati did this video. Hold on a second. Here, I got breaking my silence up. She did this video, and the video was called, I don't even know what it was called. Hold on a second. Here, let me look and see. The video was called, <laughs> let me go through my receipts. My receipts, Whitney. Ba da 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 da. Ba da 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 da. I'm not giving up. She's not giving up. So she did this video about it. Actually, in all seriousness, the video is really sad. Um, it's about the passing. Most of it is about uh, the litigation with the court hearing, and then it's a Q and A. But a lot of it is about the passing of Toddy's dog. And I do want to say it just breaks my heart. I think that any time that you lose a pet, I think it's like losing a friend. I feel so bad for Toddy. I really do. Um, and that was actually why I didn't make this video sooner. Um, and she just, it just breaks my heart to watch her talk about her dog that, that passed away. And it just is, it's so sad. And so anyway, um, so my condolences to you, Toddy. I'm sure she's not watching this. I don't think Toddy watches drama videos at all or anything. And I actually think that's probably really healthy for her to just kind of like stay out of all this. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to kind of talk about what was brought to my attention because so many people were like, oh my God, Toddy addresses James and Jeffrey in this video and things like that. And I was like, okay, well, let me go watch this video. So I go watch this video, which I think is just going to be this Q&A. And then she's the, like the first third of it is her talking about her dog. And I'm like, oh my God, I feel so bad. Like I, I, you know, I think these, I think this big misconception is that people think that the people that I cover, I guess I can only speak for myself in the drama community, that, like, I hate these people or something. I don't. Like, you know, like, Jeffree Star's dogs, I think, are absolutely adorable. I felt so bad when he and Nathan lost their dog. You know, Toddy, I feel horrible about. You know, when Jacqueline lost her dog, I felt horrible about that. You know, like, I've gone through that. I've gone through losing a dog. It's one of the most painful things in the entire world. I actually, on my Peterisms channel and on my vlog channel, I say that I don't think that we talk about grieving the loss of pets enough, that... I think sometimes it's like the, one of the hardest things ever in the world. So in all sincerity, I feel so horrible for Toddy and losing her dog. I really, really do. Um, 
so many people sent this clip to me where she's asked if when the last time was that she talked to James Charles. So I kind of just stored that and I thought, you know, I'm not going to come out on the heels of her making this video and address this and all this kind of stuff. Like, let some time pass. She's come out. She's addressed that. You know, whatever. So I kind of just stored it. I, I told you guys I had a list of like 10 videos that uh, drama videos I was going to make. Y'all, you are not ready for the videos that I'm going to make over here. Okay. <laughs> we are not talking about beauty influencers. We're talking about reptilian aliens running the United States. Okay. We're talking about the LDS church being behind books like Go Ask Alice and Jay's Journal, okay? We're talking about such conceit, <laughs> conceit, such deceit, conspiracy, and speculatoriation, okay? is not even a word. Either is romantical, but I like that word. Conspiracy speculation, okay? That the Mormon church, I now have watched all these shows. I watch Murder Among the Mormons, okay? About that guy that was faking, those Mormon, those people were paying, they were paying, listen, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, okay, I should never become a YouTuber. If you've ever watched that show, Murder Among the Mormons, oh my God, it's true, true crime. It's so horrible. It's so sad. I mean, it happened like in the 70s or 80s, so it's been a long time. But anyway, it was about this guy. He was making big money off of faking, um, what do you call it, like uh, historical, L historical doc, I can't even speak, historical documents of the Mormon church. I did not. I thought stamp collecting was like you made a lot of money on stamp collecting and stuff like that. I didn't realize that. Historical documents. Je letters from Joseph Smith's wife. Or one of them. But anyway, I don't know because I'm not part of the LDS church. But I did watch uh, Keep Sweet, Pray, and Obey. That was so weirdly, wasn't it? Wasn't that about the LDS church? I watched the other one. The Made for TV movie that was on the Hulu. What was that called? He something about heaven where they killed that woman. Oh, God, I, that was so good. My cousin Caroline and I watched that. So I feel like I really do know. And I watched Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. So I feel like I really do know a lot about the LDS church. But I did not know the LDS church was behind the book Go Ask Alice. No, true story it is. True story. I Oh, my God, I grew up loving that book. I did so much. That and... I'm with the band by Pamela DeBar. Those are hot books when I was like in junior high and high school. So I was devastated to find out that this camp counselor from the LDS church named Beatrice Sparks was behind the book Go Ask Alice and the whole thing was fake. You mean she wasn't trying to claw her way out of a closet because she had done too many hits of acid? I was like, what? What? But that whole video is coming for you later. Okay, so... I got all these videos I'm going to make, okay? So many good... I got stuff about Secrets of the Movie Paris is Burning. <gasps> I love that movie so much. Anyway, um, I got so many different videos to make, not just about beauty influencers of the world. But like I said, I am going to make a video about reptilian aliens that are trying to take over the Earth. So you might maybe... Beauty and Jeffree Star. I don't know. Maybe he's one of those. This woman that ran this cult on YouTube, she probably thought Jeffree Star was one of those reptilian aliens that was trying to take over the earth. I mean, he is part of the Illuminati, you know? So she also kind of like says the Illuminati and all these kind of people. All these people are in it. So she probably would believe all the beauty influencers. All of them. The James Charles and the Shane Dawson. Oh, no. He left the circus. He wasn't part. He's not part of the beauty. Inf we can't consider Shane Dawson a beauty influencer anymore, can we? <laughs> did we ever? Oh, some of you did. Okay. Some of you did. <laughs> Cash grab. So anyway, um, uh, I have stored this on my list. Well, I was looking through the Twitter the other night. I'm so over the Twitter. The Twitter is so toxic. So I'm looking through the Twitter the other night, right? And I think last night. And I saw this tweet that Toddy put out. Hold on. Where is it at now? I had it all pulled up. Here it is. Here's the tweet right here. And she put this out. When did she put this out? Oh, yesterday. 2.47 p.m. She goes, I'm a dorky beauty review channel. Okay. She put STOP in all capitals. Promoting your OnlyFans beneath my posts. I am sick of seeing crotch every time I reply to people. She put this little emoji. I think there might have been a more appropriate emoji. Okay, like this one. Or how about that? <laughs> or how about them dancing girls? I think those dancing girls in honor of the crotch shots underneath Toddy's saying, I think that'd be appropriate. But listen, I saw this tweet and I just started laughing, okay? Because I was like, girl, I feel you, okay? I feel you so much. Why is it that I retweet, okay, the Christmas countdown, and underneath there, 
somebody that don't even follow me. I'm like, how does she even find me, okay? She's like, they do this thing where they put like B and then a heart, O, a heart, O, a heart, B, a heart, and then it spells out like boobies for free on my profile. And then I go there to block them, right? And uh, their profile links to their OnlyFans, okay? Listen, I don't care. Have y'all OnlyFans. Have 20 of them. I don't really care, okay? I'm going to start me on OnlyFans, and you're going to get an uncensored elbow. Here, I'll give you a free shot right here. Oh, my God. People are getting wet all over the world, right? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's a free elbow. Here's a pinky. <laughs> Go wild. Anyway, have you as many OnlyFans as you want. I just don't understand why underneath my Christmas countdown, you need to put Pussows and Boobalicious's, okay? First of all, do you, okay? But I'm gaily, okay? I'm gaily. I've been gaily for a long time. If you're going to put a picture under there that you think might, I don't know, inspire me or something, maybe, listen, I'm strictly dickly. You might want to put, uh, uh, you, uh, listen, okay? You might want to put a little a bit of, I I'm just saying, okay? You might want to, like, even get into the right category. I'm not sure that B heart O heart O heart boobies for free on my profile is going to get me excited at all. You're probably just going to get you a quick block because I don't want you leaving none of those comments. And I don't really know what boobies for free or bo boobies and uh, poosows and boobaliciouses as Glitter Forever 17 used to call them. She'd have the bargasms. Remember that? Remember Glitter Forever 17 when she used to be on the U Now? That's when everybody was back on the U Now back in the day. And then somebody would like tip her and she'd go, oh my god, I'm having the tip her bars. And she'd be like, oh my god, I'm having a bargasm. And she'd act like she was having an orgasm on the... Then she got her her OnlyFans, and she had a whole turkey dinner for Thanksgiving where she was dressed up as a pilgrim, and she's getting... Somebody was eating at that turkey dinner. Somebody was... She was... She, between her thighs was where the turkey lies. I'm just telling you right now, I saw that. Somebody sent that to me. But anyway, that's besides the fact. Have you 100 OnlyFans, okay? I just don't listen. When I, that's why I don't get on the Twitter anymore when I'm up at the grocery store, okay? Because listen, okay? Uh, Grandma Edna, besides me, behind me, she don't need to see uh, pussows and boobaliciouses and squirting all over the place, okay? She don't. I'm like on there like, did anybody do anything problematic? And all of a sudden it's like, wee, boobies and free. I'm like, I don't need to see that stuff, okay? I didn't sign up for that stuff. I hardly follow anybody on the Twitter anymore anyway. And I don't know why that stuff uh, keeps on coming up. So, I, hey, listen, Miss Toddy Hot Toddy, I agree with you 100%, okay? I don't need that stuff. Definitely not underneath my Christmas or my Halloween countdown. And if you go to my Twitter, that's the only thing I post anyway. So why the hell is that under there? I do not know. But I have to tell you, I was reading some of these comments underneath there, and it cracked me up so bad. So, um, somebody said, unfortunately, a lot of that is bots. It's so annoying. I have to block new ones almost every day. Well, I do too. And then Tati said, legit, every post. Delete and report wild times online. <laughs> Tati Westbrook, Christian Coalition for Twitter. <laughs> it happens to everybody, girl. It happens to the best of us. Then somebody said, this is Twitter X now. No content moderators, just an online hellscape of pervy weirdos and bots. Well, first of all, Long before it became the X, this shit was happening, okay? Long before there, okay? It was boobaliciousness and poo and all that kind of stuff. Like I said, why not a good dick every once in a while? <laughs> I mean, I like a good dick every once in a while, don't you? I mean, some of us do, you know? I don't need to constantly see a pair of triple Ds, okay? I don't. Well, listen, I can appreciate a good pair of triple Ds just like everybody else, all right? But every once in a while, I mean, I might look at a good pair of triple Ds and be like, oh, those are pretty, you know, whatever. But listen, they don't turn me on, okay? You want to, listen, you want to get my attention, you might throw up a good dick, okay? I'm, I'm just telling you right now. So I don't know who them bots people are, but those bots people, that cult of bots out there, okay, they're, they are, they're preaching to the choir, okay, on my Twitter. So that, now she's into this whole conversation, these people are, because now they got, they got Miss Toddy to respond, right? So, uh, this person says, oh, I know, I hardly use this platform anymore, it's so toxic and predatory. <laughs> Responding to Toddy Westbrook, who was a defender of a predator. <laughs> okay, but we're going to get to that in just a second. And this person says, I'm just here to scream my progressive views into the void in the hopes my daughters get there. Okay, so it goes into all this stuff. And then somebody says, hopefully that's not too far in the future. And somebody says, also, hopefully also love to visit Toddy's page to hide from the weirdos. Well, <laughs> Toddy just told you all the weirdos are on her page. I guess to go to see the boob house, the poop, the poop delicious, <laughs> whatever they are, people <laughs> farting over there on Toddy's page. I guess if you want to go see the weirdos, you just go to Tiny's page. She told you. They're all over there. The Poo Sows, the Boobaliciouses, and the Poopaliciouses. 
So anyway, somebody say, yes, I love our content so much. I feel like this is a bunch of bots having a conversation is what I feel like. Um, somebody said, I used her palette today, actually. My good Judy Tana Jean, I gave her that palette way back in the day. To this day, she still loves that palette so much. She's like, oh my god, that Toddy palette is the best palette I've ever had in my entire life. So, there you go. Um, so then somebody said, I'm trying to sign up for the Toddy list, but I keep getting rejected. And she talks in here about signed up for uh, whatever. Where are the funny ones? Somebody said, amen to that. Too much of that on this app, honestly. Talking about the boobows and the, uh, the poopaliciouses. And somebody said... Um, oh, and then somebody, they post this picture of their, the, oh my god, they post, it's not nude, it's not nude at all, she's standing there in a pair of bikinis, and she says, happy Friday, and then somebody says, better than this face, it's that YouTuber that came for Toddy Westbrook, you know that one, it's not a very nice picture of her, I'm just gonna say it right there. Anyway, then somebody said, some of these comments are really, really funny, somebody said, dorky is not a word I associate with you, Toddy, glamours maybe, but not dorky. And then somebody commented and they said, and they did it at your birthday party. I live for that one so much. Someone said, I used to block and report and it seemed like that would cause them to be back with a vengeance. Now I just block. It's maddening. Somebody said, I thought I had resolved this issue a while back by deleting every one of those bots as soon as I saw them work for a few weeks and then they were back at it harder. It's pretty evident um, when Ava, 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 and Ava all like your comments. <laughs> Ava's working harder than some people, I guess. Somebody said, um, oh, sorry you have to deal with this. This platform is so bad for it. Um, somebody's talk they're going in here talking about how it is and all this kind of stuff and how horrible it is. I've been blocking the hell out of them. Trust me, that really does help. I don't know. Y'all must be looking at a lot of uh, Pussas and Boobaliciouses or something like that. But listen, this is all I have to say, okay? I listen, gay rights, Okay. Gay rights are that if I have to open Twitter and I got to see a bunch of pooses. <laughs> oh my God, I meant to say poos house. If I got to open the Twitter and see a bunch of poos house, boo delicious. <laughs> I can't even speak. <laughs> and poo delicious and whatnot, okay? Could you maybe throw in every once in a while? A good dick. I'm just saying, okay? Hey, listen. I'll even settle settle, settle for a bussy, okay? <laughs> At this point, I'll even settle for a bussy. I will, because I am so tired. I mean, every time I open my Twitter, there's a pair of triple Ds up there, okay? Not like I said, like, I can appreciate a good pair of triple Ds, but as a gay man for gay rights, can I get a, a good dick up on my timeline every once in a while? Or, hey, maybe even a bussy. <laughs> I'll even take a bussy at this point, okay? So anyway, that's what Miss Toddy had to say. This is not going to be a long video today. I just had to leave with all that because I thought that was so funny. So anyway, I got some notes on this. Where's my notes? Toddy and the OnlyFans. Okay. Um, oh, I did want to say this because I did this on my Q&A, but since I'm making a specific video about Toddy, somebody asked me on my Q&A, I did this Q&A and I said, okay, you can ask me one and only question. Most people ask like three or four questions, <laughs> but I said, you can ask me one and only one question and I will answer it with the last so truth about me. But somebody asked me if Toddy Westbrook was the person that asked me to stop making videos about her. No, Toddy Westbrook never stopped asking me to make videos about her. It was Shannon Rez. Shannon Rez is the one and only person that's ever come and said to me, stop making videos about me. Trisha Paytas, on the day of my husband's best friend's funeral, and yes, she did know, because she was texting me nonstop paragraphs while I was at my husband's best friend's funeral, um, I said to her, hey, we can talk about this later. I'm at my husband's best friend's funeral right now. She did not care, and Trisha Paytas went on a rampage of text to me and basically said, leave my name out of your mouth. She goes, you don't need to talk about me for a while, is what she said. I didn't make a video about Trisha Paytas for a good three to six months. I think it was closer to six months. Then when she decided that she needed to start talking about me, I was like, well, I mean, if Trisha Paytas is going to talk about me and tell me to keep my mouth, her name out of my mouth, then I'm going to talk about her too. But I don't really have much to say about Trisha Paytas these days. So anyway, I wish the gal all the, the, the luck in the world. But Trisha Paytas never even asked me not to make videos about her. Actually, back in the day... I would call up Trisha and I would say, like, this was when she and I were friendly. I'd say, do you care if I make a video about this? And she's like, you're a drama channel. That's your job. She's like, no, I don't care if you make videos. Trisha Paytas has probably been the one influencer out there that has encouraged, and I've heard other drama channels say this, that has encouraged drama channels to make videos about her. She loved it back in the day. So I don't know if she still feels that way. Maybe her opinions change. Her opinion can change. Whatever. But 
she would say to me, I'd ask her, do you care if I make a video about this? And she'd say, no, that's your job. Make a video about this. This is way back in the day, right? So no, Trisha never asked me not to make videos. The only person that has ever asked me to not make videos about them and explained why they didn't want me to make videos about them and their explanation made enough sense and had enough validity to it that I was like, no, I don't need to make videos about this person with Shannon Rose. I haven't made a video about her since. Toddy Westbrook never asked me to stop making videos about her. Toddy Westbrook asked me to not make a specific video about her. And the specific video that she asked me not to make, I don't think anybody made that video. Nobody. And to be honest with you, like, I kind of remember a little bit of what it was about. But I'm like, first of all, I wanted to say to her, girl, no, I ain't going to make that video because it ain't going to pull no views anyway. This is back in the day when Toddy would pull a good 30, 40, 50,000 views. No, she wasn't going to pull 6,000 views on that. You know, that's a good video on my channel today. <laughs> Listen, I'm losing subscribers left and right, and ain't nobody wanting to stay around here to listen about no Miss Toddy. Okay, only six to eight thousand people are probably watching this video. Maybe I should pull out and make that video today. No, I'm not making that video today. I said I wouldn't. I told her, I said, no, girl, I'm not going to make that video. I've never even mentioned what that video was about. I didn't even understand, number one, what that video was that she was asking me not to. She asked me, it was like so out of left field. I was like, what are you talking about, girl? Like, that wasn't even on my radar. Maybe I need to look into this a little closer, but I never did. And she asked me not to talk about something. It didn't have anything to do with anybody. It was just about Toddy. It wasn't about anything to do with anybody else. And I never made a video about it. And I, never, I don't think I ever talked about it. I might have in a video referenced it or something like that. This is now the second time I've referenced it. But I never made that video, and I don't believe anybody else did either. I don't know what about that video she was worried about, but she was so worried. That is the only... I have not had many influencers reach out to me and not ask me to make a video about a specific thing. She's like one of the only ones. So I just want to make that clear. No, Tati unfollowed me. I don't think Tati unfollowed me because Tati hates me. I think Tati unfollowed me because I just don't think she wants any part of the drama, the beauty influencer, that, all that drama. I don't think she wants any part of it anymore. I think that's why she unfollowed me. I don't think it was out of bitterness. I think Tati knows in my heart of hearts that I don't really like dislike her or hate her or whatever. For I, I love Tati for a long, long time, you know? I mean, hell, she sent me her palette and she even signed this card and put hot Tati on it. It was real nice, you know? And I've always been real fair to Tati. So let's get real fair to Tati, okay? So Tati did this video that somebody sent me. and Well, several people sent me. And the video was called, what did I say it was called? Hold on a second. Um, breaking my silence, part two. No, she did this video, and the video was called I'm Not Giving Up. Okay, and in the video, it's basically a Q&A, and she talks a lot about a lot of different things. At one point, about uh, two-thirds of the way through the video, somebody asked her when was the last time she talked to James Charles. And she said in the video the last time she talked to James Charles was before she filmed her Breaking uh, breaking My Silence video, okay? Which is interesting that she referenced it since she's since taken that video down. That video she has taken down, okay? She took it down a long time ago, but it's been re-uploaded. You can go back and watch it. I did today because I wanted to hear what Toddy said. Because I was like, is now she made three videos talking about that stuff. And I was like, in which video did she say... Um, that, oh, Jeffree Star's gonna come for us, girl, and all that kind of stuff, where she's, like, crying because James Charles wanted to sit next to her and make that video, and they had made amends, and she made a direct apology to James Charles. I was like, was that the Breaking the Silence video? And I went back and I watched it, and sure enough, that was the Breaking the Silence video. So what's interesting to me about this, and this is where I feel like they sometimes don't remember their own videos or go back and watch them. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I can't remember most of my videos that I've ever filmed, you know? So maybe that's the case. But somebody in this Q&A asks her, when's the last time you talked to James Charles? And she says, before I posted my Breaking My Silence video. And she said, I haven't talked to any of them, referring to Jeffrey and Shane. She goes, I haven't talked to any of them from since before then, right? Well, when you go back and watch the video, what's interesting is, in the video, she insinuates that her and James Charles have had this come to Jesus meeting and that James Charles showed her all these receipts, proof, receipts, all this kind of stuff, name them, name them, and that it might take a long time, but the truth will finally come out and justice will prevail for Toddy and James Charles against Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. When you go back and watch the video, I just did, it is painted very, it is painted in a way to show that Jeffree Star, she says the words, I was manipulated and coerced to make that video, okay? 
What's also interesting is she says in the video that she doesn't know how media sources, she's talking about drama channels, okay, knew that her video was coming out. I had kind of forgotten she addressed this in the video, right? But there's been a lot of speculation in the last six months of who those people were that knew about it. What's interesting about it is that Tati says in that video, I was coerced and manipulated. They were the only ones that knew. How did media outlets know that um, I was making that video because I hadn't talked to anybody about it. Well, girl, um, no, that's an absolute fucking lie, okay? You want to get in this video and talk about we need to all say a prayer before we get into this video and all this kind of stuff. That's a fucking lie, okay? So you got in a video and you wanted to talk about we need to pray, or pray over all this sickness. You got in a video and you fucking lied, okay? I know for a fact that you had been talking to drama channels. And I'm not going to bring up who it is because they're no longer here, okay? But I know for a fact that you have been talking to drama channels and meant not just one, but several people had given quotes to them, girl, okay? That knew that you were coming out with this video. I know that for a fact. So the fact that, I mean, girl, I lived it in real time when your video came out, Okay? I remember how that all went down. I remember who had the information. So yes, Jeffree Star probably told some people, but girl, so did you. Well, I don't know how you want to sit there and rewrite history. And I'm like, what are we supposed to believe from breaking the silence? She gets in this video and she talks about, in the breaking the silence video, about how she was coerced and manipulated and the truth will come out. You were coerced and manipulated by who? The only three people you talk about in the video are James Charles, Jeffree Star, and Shane Dawson. Oh, you also talk about the fact that Jeffree Star played for you the voice note of the alleged victim. And you say in there that you didn't have a need to call the police. What's weird to me, knowing who is on the uh, alleged voice note, is why would you need to call the police over that? That's not a situation where Toddy Westbrook would have ever had to have called the police. There's not a minor involved. The person was not a minor at the time. Um... I'm not really sure why you even said that to cover your tracks in the video. In fact, it almost kind of makes it look like what was on the voice note was worse than what it was, which is bad enough what's on the voice note. We all know what's on the voice note, okay? We all know what's on the voice note. It's that James Charles hit on somebody, okay? We all know what the, what's on the voice note. But it's not a legal implication of a minor, which is what it makes it sound like in the Breaking the Silence video. And then you talk about how Jeffrey played the video for you, and you're talking about how the one thing is that Jeffrey has all this information about beauty influencers and, and all this kind of stuff. And by the way, I just want to say this because somebody speculated this in my video the other day. They said that the reason I was talking about it being a relationship, that, re that Jeffrey and Manny fell out, and that what it was over was that Manny took the wrong side. And somebody speculated and basically was insinuating that it was James Charles hitting on Nathan's brother. That was absolutely not what I was talking about at all. I just want to, I want to clear that up because I want to make sure that that is not a lie like Jojo Siwa said that somebody takes and runs with it. I'm not going to come out and say who the people were that were involved. That's their story. They can share that. But it was not it was not Nathan's brother. I just want to make that 100% clear. Um, I don't know what happened with that whole situation, but that was not who I was talking about and that is not how the fallout of that relationship happened between Manny and Jeffrey. The friendship between Manny and Jeffrey falling apart had nothing to do with James Charles, okay? So I want to make that very, very clear. As far as what I know, it was a completely different situation. It had nothing to do with Nathan. It had nothing to do with that. So anyway, but what was interesting was she was talking about Jeffrey would come to her and he had all this information on beauty influencers and beauty owners and things like that. And I'm like, okay, girl, you take such issue with this now in this video. This is going to stop in about a minute. Hold on just a second. I always have to do that. I didn't realize this video was going to be that long. I thought it was going to be like 20 minutes. But I'm sitting there and I'm watching this. Maybe I need to go back and I need to do uh, a whole series re-watching these videos that Jeffrey and James and Toddy and put out and what we know today, right? Because she says in there at one point, she goes, when anybody talks about this online, she's basically talking about drama channels, right? She says, I get, I am the one that is, basically she says she gets raked over the coals more than anybody else. Real girl, seriously, Toddy, you, you got, you got it worse than anybody. Okay, well, let's figure out why maybe that is, okay? 
Um, so she goes on there and she says, it's interesting when you watch this stuff and you know everything. I know pretty much just as much as you guys do. So you can go back and watch videos and think the same things. But she sits here and she talks about one of her issues that she always had with Jeffrey was he had all this privileged private information about beauty influencers and beauty owners. And she always took issue with that. And I'm like, okay, girl, but did you call those beauty people up? Did you call up those people that own those companies and say to them, hey, do you know Jeffree Star has this private privileged information? Or, but you talk about how scared you were of Jeffree Star. What did Jeffree Star have on you, girl? Why are you so worried about Jeffree Star? Now you've removed yourself from the whole scene, which I think was smart. But what I wonder was, what exactly did they have on Toddy Westbrook? What did James Charles and Jeffree Star have on Toddy Westbrook that she just wiped her hands of it and walked away? You know, she came out and had, she was coerced and manipulated to make that video. Girl, which one? The first one? How about the second and the third one? Who manipulated and coerced you to make that, those videos? Did James Charles coerce you and manipulate you to make the third video? Where you talk about how James Charles wanted to sit down with you? Now you come out four or five years later and you say, you haven't talked to James Charles since before you made that video. And in that video, you apologize directly to James Charles and insinuate that you guys are on good terms and you're working behind the scenes to get the truth out there about Jeffrey and Shane. So what happened in between you posting the Breaking the Silence video and now between you and James Charles? Or is it in fact the truth that what Shane and Jeffrey said about James Charles was absolutely 100% true? What you initially came out and said about James Charles being predatory is 100% true and has been proven by multiple people. Even James Charles himself coming out with his video called Holding Myself Accountable, which he's taken down, in which he apologizes to do victims in there that were 14 and 16 years old and what you realized was that you weren't just being lied to by Jeffrey and Shane you were also being lied to by James Charles girl why can't you just come out in a video and say yeah I don't talk to any of them motherfuckers anymore I pray on them because they all lied to me they all used me I got completely used and I was thrown in the middle girl I think anybody would understand that you were a grown adult you chose to be used you chose to say those words on video and you chose to post that video Okay, take some responsibility for it. But the one thing that you did by staying silent is you never came out and spoke about James Charles. Why? Because you wanted to stay out of the drama. Well, I kind of take issue with that. The issue is you're the one that lit the fire. Then you wanted to put the fire out. Then when it got too much heat for Toddy Westbrook and Toddy Westbrook wanted to be out of it, when whatever you found out behind the scenes was enough for you to know, I don't want anything to do with James Charles anymore. The last video update other than this that you have spoken about James Charles you came out just two weeks ago or a week ago or whatever and said you haven't talked to him before this video. Well, all we knew of this video was that you guys were good Judy's again. You had made up. You apologized to him on video. What happened after that, girl? Because whatever you know, you lo lit this fire. You could come out in a video and say, I have found out further information about James Charles that I can no longer support him. What has made you not talk to him anymore all these years? Is it because you found out the truth? That he was being predatorial? Is it because you just don't want any part of it? I mean, give some context to it. Or people are going to continue to think that anything that James Charles has done in the future, why did you ever start this to begin with if you weren't going to finish it? I totally understand you not wanting to be involved in it anymore. But by you even addressing the question and saying, no, I haven't talked to him since before I filmed that video is enough to get people going. Girl, it's enough to make me film a 30-minute video. So you could have at least given a context and said, no, I didn't want any part of the drama anymore, so I don't talk to any of them, number one. Number two, there were too many mixed stories that it seemed to me that there had to be some truth about James. I could no longer align myself with it. Yes, I have factual evidence. No, I don't have factual evidence. I just didn't want to involve myself in it anymore. It was too dark. I only want light in my life and whatever. I would have totally understood that. I would have got that. But you continue to stay ambiguous with it. Girl, this is too serious of a situation. Remember, you're the one. I don't care who is coercing you and manipulating you. You were a grown woman at that time, okay? You decided to sit down on video. You decided to sit down on video after legal approved what you said in your Breaking Your Silence video. Legal approved for you to apologize to James Charles in this video. You haven't spoken about it since. <clears throat> There's been a lot of allegations that's come out about James Charles since that Breaking the Silence video that you've never felt the need to share about. 
Now, I totally understand you not wanting to be in the drama anymore and you wanting only to let, let love and light in your life. I get that. I 100% support that. 100%. I do think it's fair to your audience and everybody that got caught up in that and listened to what you had to say and took it and ran with it to know I no longer can follow him or support him because there's just too many mixed allegations and I feel just the same way as you. I no longer feel uh, and want anything to do with Jeffrey and Shane because they're messy and they involve me in their drama that I didn't want to be a part of. And yes, I take responsibility for filming that video. No matter how coerced and manipulated I am, I chose to film that video and post it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Please don't ask me about it. There's what I know. I don't want anything to do with any of them anymore. I don't know any more than you guys do. I want to leave it in my past and move on. That's enough. But you've never said anything. So what that leaves us to know is that you apologize to James Charles. The last thing that we know, even given this new information with this new video is the last time you talked to him was about breaking the silence that you apologized to him. So we don't know what you think about James Charles. You don't ever come out and say it. You had a lot to say back then. I think you have a right to move into love and light. I think we all do. I want that for you, Toddy. I have always believed, okay, that Toddy got messed up with a bunch of fools that absolutely used her because she has too much kindness in her heart. I have always believed that about Toddy, all right? I've always believed that. You cannot convince me otherwise. And I know that there are people out there that like, I hate Toddy and Toddy this and Toddy that. You can't convince me of that. I think Toddy got caught up in the wrong crew. I think she was trying to be the, do the right thing. I think she thought she was doing the right thing. I think she had a lot of people in her ear. I think she tried to come out and say that. I think then James Charles came in. He was doing the same thing that you're talking about. Extremely manipulated, calculated people. Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, and James Charles are probably three of the most calculated, manipulated, manipulative people on the face of this earth, okay? To get to the levels of following that they have, do I believe that they were able to do that? Yeah, and I think she finally was like, I have no other way than just to withdraw myself completely from this. But the problem is with that, Toddy, is that you kind of left a wide open space for people to not really know what to think about James Charles when you were the one that lit that fire to begin with. A lot of people believe what they believe about James Charles because of you. So it's kind of up to you to put that fire out before you fade off into love and light, which I think you deserve. But I also think it's yours to say, yes, I found more information out, or no, I didn't find any more information out, whatever. At this point, it's been so many years, I'd still be interested to know, you know? What happened to all this evidence that you were going to find out? I think really what happened was that at the, at the end of all of it, she was like, I was used by Jeffrey and uh, Shane because they wanted me to attack and come down on James Charles. Yes, for things that were true about James Charles. James Charles came back to me with voice notes and whatever. He's got shit on Jeffrey and Shane that look bad. I think James Charles has a lot on Jeffree Star that can make Jeffree Star look really bad at that time. And she's like, and now he's convincing me of this. And then I think she puts the video out, apologizes to James Charles. I think she gets all this information and she's like, I'm done. I don't want any part of it anymore. I need to just remove myself from all of this for myself, for my well-being. And for that, I applaud her. Okay, I just wish she would have come out and addressed whether it was she just wanted nothing to do with it anymore. I mean, she says in this Q&A, why would I? I agree with you, girl. Why would you? You deserve the best life possible, you know? But you were a huge part in people speculating what was going on, at least to come out and say, no, I don't know anything further than anybody else knows. I just didn't want anything else to do with any of these people anymore because they're disgusting, and because they're selfish. And because they don't care who they hurt. And I couldn't have that in my life anymore. But no, I didn't find out anything. I saw what you guys saw. And it was enough for me to be like, I'm out, you know? I think that would be enough for anybody to understand. And that would be two seconds of a video that she could say that, you know? And sure, we'd all make videos about it. One, nobody cares anymore, you know? And then it would be over. And then she'd address it. But I wish she would have at least addressed it somehow. That's all I wish. I don't wish any harm on Toddy. I think Toddy is, and I know people don't believe this, but I think Toddy is a really, and I, my opinion goes back and forth on this a little bit, but today my opinion is that Toddy is a really good person that got caught up with some really selfish, self-centered, superficial, money-hungry people that 
just wanted more and more and more power. I think it really wasn't even about the money to them or the fame. I think it was about the power behind it all, you know? And I think a lot of those people have been about power. I don't think she saw it. I think they were so smart. They manipulated in a, Tati in a way that it was like, no, this is about truth. And truth overpowers power in any situation and you have to come out and do the right thing. That's the only way they could get her to come out and talk about it, you know, was to manipulate her on her doing the right thing because that's who Tati's wanted to always be. You know, I, I find fault with things that Tati does from time to time, but there are things I find fault with any other YouTuber or influencer out there. You know, she's not perfect. She doesn't claim to be perfect. But do I think she got caught up with the wrong people at the wrong time? Absolutely, you know? So anyway, let her move on. You know, I just wish that she would have come out. I think now it's like people probably care. But then if, if people don't care, why even ask? Why are you still being asked a question and why are you addressing it in a video? How many questions did she get? She, she get? she could have skipped over that. I do Q&As all the time. People ask me things I don't know anything about or I'm like, no, I've addressed this in enough videos. I'm not going to talk about it. I just skip over that question. She could have skipped over that question. She chose to answer that. She chose to answer that question. She chose to answer it because she knew it would stir up stuff. Well, if you're going to get in a video and you're going to choose to answer that question out of the hundreds of questions that you didn't choose to answer, okay, then answer it directly and appropriately and close this once and for all. And let a pe instead of letting people speculate, because then what it is, is you're using, uh, still to this day, the plight of what those victims were to keep people wondering, then you could just close it all down <laughs> and be like, this is the reason why I'm done with all of them. Or yes, I did find out more things, but I know you don't want to be in the drama. But if you don't want to be in the drama, then don't answer the question at all. Just let that question go. Okay? I think people sometimes forget that, you know? When I do a Q&A, I might get five or 600 questions. I don't answer all five or 600 questions. Tani did a Q&A. She got answered, she answered what, five or six questions? She chose to answer that question, which meant she wants to keep that alive. She wanted to address why she's not talking to James Charles today. That was her opportunity. She could have come out and addressed it fully. These are the reasons why I don't talk to James Charles. These are the reasons why I don't talk to Shane and Jeffrey. No, she played it off. Like, no, I didn't talk to him since breaking the silence. How are we to know that, girl? How were we to know that you hadn't talked to him since before Breaking the Silence? In the Breaking Silence video, you say that you apologized to him directly. Girl, how are we to know? You know, you guys kept everything up behind the wraps, behind the scenes. Yes, do I deserve, think that she deserves love and light and to move on with her life? 100%, absolutely. I believe everybody deserves that. Do I believe that the audience also deserves to know the truth about what happened behind the scenes? Absolutely, 100% I do. This is not about what goes on in somebody's bedroom. We don't deserve to know the truth. This is about what happened with three major influencers, four major influencers, what really happened behind the scenes, why do these people need to take these people down? What is so e evil about them? What did you guys find? What did James Charles bring to you? I mean, I know you don't want to share that stuff because you want out of all of it, but don't you think we have a right to know that about those other people? Give it to somebody. Give all that to a drama channel, you know? <laughs> the truth is, Toddy, okay? You've given other things to drama channels, and I think we all know that, right? Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.